I'm Alberto, I'm from Italy, I come from a small town in the south of the country. I've been studying in Italy for my bachelor degree and I exchanged in China for one year in Shanghai and now I'm here as a master degree student in information technology and data science. I learned about TBSI during a summer school in main campus in Tsinghua and well I knew this school because I studied here before so I know that this is a very well known school in China and it's a kind of a program that stands out a little bit. It's something more innovative and something, let's say, different respect from, from what is the usual curriculum in the other universities, I would say. I think it's a challenge to adapt to a different school, different rules or different way of studying, but I think everything worked out well. I really liked the way in which we interact with teacher. I think it's a one-by-one -one relationship. It's really good for learning. I like how every classmate comes from different backgrounds and um, how we can exchange information and we can exchange knowledge um, by coming from these different backgrounds. I think they've been really kind to me and they try to include me because they know I'm a foreigner so I think they, they expect they, they know what can be the difficulties for me, so they try to let me in in the project, to involve me in their research or involve me in their, in their plans. And I think that's been good for, let's say, getting, getting known and to know each other better. I would say that probably Italy is more traditional, so it's basically using a model that has been used for so many years, so it's really standard and this has proved to be of a good quality, but I would say that TBSI is actually more innovative, it's more transformative, so it's something that I think it's not being done anywhere else in the world, so I think it, that's the, the best aspect of it, that it's a transformative school that is probably going somewhere, it's, it's going to develop further. Research environment about how free is your curriculum, how free you are to explore different uh, aspects of your research and how free is your communication with other areas. So I think they've been probably attracted by how interdisciplinary this program is and especially what is the long-term plan of this program. I think it's a great opportunity for both countries. It's a way in which, let's say, Italy can know more about Chinese culture and the same goes for China. And we are really excited to know what this is going to is going to lead us to. We are excited to know what are going to be the economic consequences or the, let's say, cultural consequences. More and more Chinese people are moving, are, are like exploring other countries and I, I could feel this in my own university so I, I, I can feel that there is a movement of people towards Italy and I could also feel that many other Italians decided to come to China and I think this is something really new. It wouldn't happen like five or ten years ago so it's really interesting I would say. It's, it's definitely happening some, let's say, cultural exchange. I think I really liked uh, Wang Jiawei movies, so I think they really, let's say, fast, made me fascinated about Chinese culture and about Chinese arts. But I think I came here out of my own will because uh, I think you don't really know what is China until you're here, so I just was curious about it and then when I was here I actually experienced what it really is. I would say my the city where I studied for my undergraduate, I would say Turin, because it's not like a really big city as compared like to other cities like Milan or Rome. But I think the technology and the, let's say the economic um, development of the city can be, I think they can be compared. So I would say Shenzhen is quite like Turin, while Shanghai is more like Milan and Beijing is more like Rome, definitely. How how 天天向上